What's going on everyone and welcome to another video. That's right everyone, it's time for starting another series. In 2021, I did Mario Party Origins. In 2022, I did Mario Party Board Ranking. In 2023, I did um, Mario Kart Track Ranking. And now for 2024, I think it's finally time for Donkey Kong. That's right, everyone. Every single month, regardless of the context, I'm going to make at least one type of Donkey Kong related video. Whether if it's, you know, the Donkey Country series talking about the same games again, or if it's, you know, a gameplay video or something, something like that, I will be making a video on Donkey Kong every single month in 2024. That's going to be my goal, if I hopefully remember this time, <laughs> because in case you're unaware, this series, Donkey Country, is celebrating its 30th year anniversary, Although, and even if Nintendo doesn't really, if Nintendo, for some reason, doesn't even do anything special, a Aside from, you know, marketing a million dollar theme park that's happening. I don't know what to say anymore. But we're not, we're going to talk about that later. We're going to be talking about the very first Donkey Kong Country game. Why am I talking about this game again? Because I already made a video on it in 2022. Well, let's just go back in time and talk about Donkey Kong Country 1 anyway. Because while I have done videos on Donkey Kong Country in the past, I feel like it'd be better to do them separately in my opinion. Just to give a more detail, just more detail on them and stuff. And just have some videos up, you know? <clears throat> so yeah. Let's go ahead and just start off with the history of this game, you know? I mean, I've talked about history plenty of times, and, you know, I made the same videos plenty of times. But Donkey Kong Country 1, specifically, I think we need to talk more about it, you know? I mean, way more. Yes, I mean it literally. So, we need to go a little bit back in time, of course. So, 19... <laughs> Excuse me. If I remember in the date, hopefully. Oh, uh, man, I'm a fake fan. 1994 is when Donkey Kong Country launched in different locations. And, of course, Donkey Kong Country 1 was obviously being one of the best-selling SNES games. For sh one of the best-selling SNES games. And I can confirm that this is easily one of my favorite SNES games. Probably one of my most replayed SNES games along with Super Mario World. It's just that type of Donkey Kong game I replay, like, oftenly without getting, like, you know... Without getting like bored or anything, I could replay this game multiple times and just not get bored at all. And yeah, that's pretty much why the locations like jungle, the snow areas, the underwater levels, the factory levels. There's a lot to Donkey Kong Country. A lot of unique locations, new gameplay mechanics like the animal buddies being Rambi, Espresso, and Unguard. There's wait, Unguard? Well, whatever. But regardless, <laughs> um. There's a lot to Donkey Kong Country, I can say, honestly, that I love it so much, honestly. There's some, they introduced some new characters too, like Diddy Kong, of course, one of my favorite Kongs. And of course, we got Candy Kong, Funky Kong, um, that's a few to name, honestly. So, yeah, even though I have made a video, like I said, made a video on this, but I would like to talk about specifically why I think Donkey Kong Country is so special in the first place. Donkey Kong was kind of struggling in the in those times. I mean, we had the arcade Donkey Kong, and we also had also the same year, by the way, Donkey Kong '94, also known as Donkey Kong for the Game Boy, is celebrating its third year anniversary this year. So that's pretty neat. Just want to throw that fact out of the way. So yeah, but I think the reason just Donkey Country is that game. It's just a sort of I don't know what you call comfort 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 game I play, honestly. And it's not even, like, my favorite Donkey Kong game. Spoilers! You probably already know anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. I just really love this game specifically. The levels and fantastic soundtrack and overall... It's just great, honestly. And, of course, being one of my... Of course, debuting my favorite Nintendo villain, King K. Rule, being one of my favorite characters of all time, for sure. So, yeah. King K. Rool. <laughs> I said that, I said that really weird, but yeah, but even though I really love Donkey Kong Country, there is a lot more to dive into with, with this game specifically than uh, more people realize, and I realize I haven't really done this at all during the uh, Donkey Kong December month, just December times. What is it going to be? Well, it's not the cartoon, spoilers, but it's some um, uh, early, f uh, early stuff that was actually planned for Donkey Kong Country. That actually didn't get planned. Let's just go in and list them out, so, shall we? So, starting this off with back... Um, recently, I think in 2015, I believe. Uh, there was actually some concept art 
of what was originally going to be Donkey Kong Country, but more different. It was actually going to be Donkey Kong versus Super Wario. Yeah, not Mario, Wario. Yeah, this guy right here. So it was going to be a Donkey Kong versus Wario type game, which honestly, I kind of wish. I kind of wish that was a thing. Honestly, now that I think about it, because I love to pair Donkey Kong and Wario. I love to have a neat little. I like to come up with different type of uh, different types of relationships with Donkey Kong and Wario since they sort of have the same vibe. They have their own games, they're strong characters. Like I, I like to I like to think of neat ideas with them honestly. So I don't know, I would I'm glad with what we have right now. I wouldn't be against like I don't know Do the pipe dream scenario. Donkey Kong and Wario teaming up in a platformer. Uh, that's the wish right there, <laughs> but yeah, it was gonna, but yeah, Wario was gonna, I guess, feature in the series, but he didn't, he didn't really make the cut at all in this, in any Donkey Kong game, but as a matter of fact, unless with Wario, like, getting planned for games and just getting scrapped, I don't understand, man. <laughs> Also, there were some early concepts of what's considered Donkey Kong and, uh, you know, Diddy Kong right there. I mean, stuff like that. We got some, and other stuff like, you know, there's some unused, like, animations and sprites that we didn't see at all. But, um, I'm not sure what it is. Regardless, <clears throat> yeah, there's some unused sprites that we didn't see. And it's kind of neat. Some of these do look neat. I wonder if it was due to limitations or personal reasons. Probably both. <laughs> so yeah. But I just wanted to list that out. And of course, you know, Donkey Kong Country 1 being this long, having a long set, you know, being one of the best NES games, even praised to death, even all these years later, it still holds up as one of the best NES titles. And I can't confirm that, yes, Donkey Kong Country 1 is a banger game. I don't know if I'm going to talk about all the rest of the Donkey Kong Country games and, uh, you know, the sort of series, kind of. But I will say, every month... Like I said, every month in 2024 will be some sort of Donkey Kong video. Whether it be a ranking video, will it be a top 10 or something? I gotta bring my top 10s again. But I just wanted to start off first with what you guys can expect through this year of Donkey Kong. If Nintendo ain't gonna do it, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> so, yeah, DK December may be a little different this year. Who knows, though? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this first episode of the year of Donkey Kong. And, yeah... We got more stuff on the way. I can't wait to talk about more about Donkey Kong for entirety of 2024. So yeah, Rosalina's gonna have to sit out, huh? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time for more Donkey Kong action. Later, folks.